Okay. Hey guys, welcome to Mommy Press Well video today. That's right. That's Marvin. And today I'm going live. And I am, well, I'm live. And I am cooking. I'm, I'm going to cook some fried pork chops. And I'm going to have some sweet peas. And I have some string beans. Green beans. And don't, and don't forget it. Don't and Marvin forget. loves to be on the camera, y'all. Can you show me yourself? No, I can't move the right camera. There. But it's me, y'all. Yeah, can I show them? And um, Marvin, come on. Marvin wants to say hey. Hey. Okay, now go back over there. And I'm going to say why this dry with mommy's done. Okay. Okay, ding. All right. And why but, this dry? But I'm going to um, get ready to fry this pork chop. And I've already cooked some rice. And I'm going to cook the... um. The vegetables. I I'm going live today because I wanted to put up a video. Yeah. But instead of doing a video, I decided I might as well go ahead and go live because I was I gotta cook. And that way I can just post the video. Well post the live. So no Marvin, you cannot keep talking to anyone while I'm trying to tell them what I'm doing. Marvin loves to be in front of the camera, y'all. I have the um oil. I got this turned on already. So what I'm doing is I have I'm gonna get my pot. I got some bacon. I'm getting ready to fry some bacon. Just put my vegetable in. So y'all, if y'all see me go on camera, I got to go over there to wash my hands. But anyway. I could have just used my bacon grease. I like some bacon grease. But I'm frying two pieces of bacon. Turn that on. I'm going to get ready to wash my hands. Marvin, what did you want to say? Marvin wanted to say something. What you want to say? I want to say, wash your kids. I want to say, wash your hands. You were? Okay. All right. Um, let me turn my oil up. Get my bacon. I hope y'all can see. He was trying to, my husband was helping me. Oh, you can't see that. We are trying to make sure that you can see. Oh, you can see that. What I had going on. Because this is my first time doing a live cooking. And let me see if we get my. Welcome everybody. Is there anybody? Well, if you're watching the retake or the replay, welcome to my live cooking demonstration. So, I'm getting ready to put on my gloves and turn my grease up, my oil, up, and we're gonna get started. So, I've already washed the pork chop, and I am seasoning it with the. Mm -mm, seasoning salt. Put my glove on the right way. That would probably help. Exactly. And I have me some flour in this bag. If it's not enough, I have to add some more to it. But anyway, here's the seasoning salt that I'm going to use. I'm putting some inside of my flour. Marvin, if you can't be quiet, son, you have to go back in the living room. If you can stay in here with me if you want to, but I'm come here. I'm doing a cooking demonstration. 
You know, you can't be keep talking. If you need to talk, go ask daddy. Because I'm cooking. I told you I have to tell the people what I'm doing, okay? Okay. What do you need to ask me? I'm putting salt and pepper on them. What, son? Well, not salt and pepper. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Seasoning salt and pepper. Y'all, I got, um, I've been had a busy, busy, busy day. And I got to go do some more work. No, not we're not we're talking about cooking today, baby. We'll talk about the dog another time, okay? Because uh, mama not gonna be on here that long. So y'all can see him. Got a little bit of water in the bottom of the bowl. But anyway, I put the, put it on this side, then I'm flipping it over. And then oh, on the other side. This season, if you don't have one, well, which you don't have this from more than seasoning salt, use the seasoning salt of your choice. This has all everything that I would put in, put on my seasoning, the, all the seasonings that I would normally put on my pork chop is in this. So I don't need to add the other seasonings. I just add this. Without, this does not have black pepper in it because it's a seasoned salt. Let me soak this water up. So it's a seasoned salt. So that's why the have pepper in it, so that's why I'm adding pepper. It is here. Hello. I don't know if I have my stream yard set up to see comments because I can't see comments. But if you are here, hello and welcome. I'll go back and read them after I um finish. Y'all hear Martin. He loves being in the camera, y'all. I bought him a tripod because he has this, you know, he does his phone and he records himself uh, like all, all very often. And um, he just like, he don't like wearing clothes. He like be home with um, a teeth, you no, know, with underwear on and we're making videos. But I told him when he makes his videos, he has to go. So I gave him a tripod and um, I'm let him go to town, record all his videos. And I did it because I was watching, uh, y'all saw, um, what's the name of the show I watch? The Goldberg, with Adam Goldberg. And when he was young, he had a camera, his parents bought him. So I was like, well, maybe he not, my flowers, I mean, my, who is hot right there? He sneezed to that powder. That, yeah. <laughs> Excuse me. Marvin, you can't bring that in here, son. But anyway, so I was like, well, since he likes Marvin. Marvin, you can't bring that in here. He just wanted to see y'all. Y'all, he uh, y'all know how to use to try to get three in here first. But anyway, um, yeah, so since he likes recording, and uh, I saw how Adam Goldberg is famous, and he made a lot of films when he was young. So I was like, well, I'm going to buy my baby a tripod since he walks around recording stuff, and he won't mess with my tripod all the time. So now he can record his own video. I'm gonna leave it up. I'm gonna put the peas in there, and I think I'm gonna make a little bit of gravy. So I'm gonna get some onions and cut up some onions. I'm 
All right. Pork chop does not take that long to cook. And I know a lot of people don't use this much grease. I watch people fry pork chop on YouTube and I it's like I use a lot. But to me it's covered and I don't have to worry about it being I don't know, I don't know. This is the way I was brought up doing it so. My cookies gonna get doing. So my bacon, I put my bacon in, and now I got peas. So I hope everybody's having a great day today. We usually only do one can of peas. I think I'm going to put some string beans on. But I'm going to use bacon grease because I got bacon grease. The girls don't like peas. None of the girls. I don't really like peas that much. I eat them. They taste good with gravy for me. I eat them with gravy. Got a piece of onion I got left over. Yeah. Okay, ready to cut this up. And I know this is a purple onion. Can y'all see what I'm doing? Oops, purple onion. That I'm cutting up. It's the kind of onion I got. So this is the one I'm cutting up. But I'm cutting this for my gravy. Give me the bigger knife. Please excuse. My husband cutting the grass. Y'all know what? I got to get her on. Um, get ready to take this pork chop out. But I thank everybody that is here. If you're watching the replay or if you're watching live, thank you for joining me. And let me get my pork chop out. Oh my goodness, but it's okay. We didn't know that. I didn't know because he said he was going outside. And I didn't even realize that would be that close. So I apologize for that again. But let me get my string beans on. And I need to take this pork chop off. Can y'all see this? Put some bacon. Grease in this pot. It's gonna get better, guys. <laughs> Believe me, I can tell by the sound that they ready. Y'all can tell that the um the sound has slowed down. Heat up my bacon grease and. Even though not 
already put my clicking pad, so I'm going to take these out. Can y'all see them? Oh, yeah, you can see them. Put that over there. What else? Let me get my oh. It's good. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, oh, it's good. Oh, oh, it's good. I'm going to go straight to the pan with these because I don't want my oil to get too hot. But anyway, as you can see, pork chop is simple and easy to cook. And it doesn't take that long to fry up. These are average cut. They're not the wafer thin ones. Um, the wafer thin ones. I eat them. They, it don't take really no time to cook the wafer thin ones, but they're easy to dry out. They cook so quick. I just do two so I can do the other two, the last two together. I'll go ahead. My granddaughter is scared of fry stuff. I'm trying to go get them frying stuff. My mama had me frying stuff since I was like 11. And they scared to fry stuff. So I got my peas on. This is my, my string beans. Let me get my can open. Open up my green beans. Well, of course that would happen when I'm live. So, when I have a ring, I'm going to really turn this pork chop down. Shout out to Miss Soulful Tea, y'all. If y'all hadn't seen the video that she was using the Mr. Marvin sauce, um, go check her channel out. It's an awesome video. She's such a sweet lady. Let me put some salt in it. Pepper in it. Mm. Yeah, she's so awesome. And... Let me get my uniform. Some of these up. I'm going to turn them off in a minute. I don't like for them to turn the mush. Go ahead, turn them off. But anyway, so 
Right now, I'm just waiting on the pork chop. I wish I could see. Well, it's gonna take a long. I've been uh, okay. I can see. Twenty-three minutes. Twenty-three minutes. That's not that long. I have a um couple of more videos where I was cooking quick meals. This is actually a quick meal. I already had a rice spoon. Y'all know I use aluminum foil. I do have hot leaves. I actually have a. I still haven't used that um. Read drum is hot. I didn't use not one of those hot, but anyway, the rice is doing. Oh, goodness, I found a can of them. I'm going to turn these over. As you can see, that brown is from the flour that was in the pan. Okay, I'm getting ready to season up my green beans. A little bit of salt. Put a little bit of this bouillon flavor in it. And I'm going to put the onion powder. Granulated onion. And what my mother-in-law told me, put a touch of, um, she told me to put a touch of sugar in my green beans, so put a touch of sugar in them. Little bit of this, just the Marvin. Mm -mm, excuse me, I'm going to do this. And I'm going to be good. All right, so I'm getting ready to do make some gravy. I'm making another pot while this last pork chop is cooking so we can get out of it. I think I'm going to move the pork chop. Because these are ready to come out, actually.
And I'm going to make the um, gravy right here so y'all can see what I'm doing. Take the pork chop out. And this grease is looking very used. All right, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna take some of this. I'm gonna put some of this on. Oh, I need to take it out another way. So we're gonna have a mess. I'm gonna go pull that so that sink, y'all. Two hot eyes and some hot grease. Pour a little bit of this inside this pan. And my last pork chop. I'm just gonna put it in there and let me turn it off. I'm really good. I'm gonna wash my hand. While I'm washing my hand, I'm gonna go drop these onions in. Let them be cooking up. Watch my hair, y'all. A lot of oil. Let's take some of that out. But I don't have to because the more oil I could make, the more gravy I can make. Ooh, the onion smell good. Mm. I know this is some good flavor oil oh. in this pot. That one and this one because this smells so good. I'm going to pour some of this back in with that pork chop. Margaret loves the gravy. Wrapped and gravy. My baby, he went in the living room watching his show. I'm going to go ahead and ask for flowers. This is how my mama taught me to make my gravy. And this is how I'm teaching my people to make gravy. I got a mess going. I'm going to get my bread. Put a little bit more. And did I tell y'all I see I did season this flour? I tell y'all that. Now, if you want to, when you use flour, you can save it. Once you use, you can save it in the refrigerator. I, I don't um, I don't plan on saving it because I don't know when the next time I'm gonna use it. But if you cook or fry a lot, you don't have to throw it away.
The green beans smell good. For the lid on this. Put some aluminum foil on my rice. I hope y'all can see that. Anyway. Let me go throw this away. I'm letting it get brown, so if it is a lot of oil, it's going to be a lot of gravy. My baby likes gravy. I like gravy, too. So, letting that brown. I do have some browning stuff. I'm not using the browning today, but if you have a browning like Kitchen Bouquet, Gravy Master, all that stuff, you can use that to help brown your gravy. I am not using any of that today. Um, I don't, you don't have to have it. I don't need it. Um, I add some more flour to this because if you cook your flour long enough, then you will have it can get dark, dark as you want to get and get good flavor too. But, um Yeah, so you don't have to use a brown. I use I I did not use it growing up. I do have some gravy master. My um mother in law used kitchen bouquet, and so um when I met them, then I used it. Which I don't use it all. They still don't use it all the time. But then I start. That's when I first started using it. What you don't have to do is getting darker. It just takes time. Um, and also. With this, oh no, I, was, I know what I was just saying. And plus, it's in my cabinet, and my cabinet is right there. And I'm not gonna move this camera. <laughs> my husband helped me get it set up before he went outside. So I have a string beans, they're percolating. They smell good. Um, the last piece of pork chop is just about ready to come out. My gravy is browning. I'm gonna add some water, and we're gonna we're almost finished. And this doesn't take that long. I told y'all, I tell y'all. We're doing some quick, easy meals. Quick, easy cooking. Quick, quick, quick. Easy, easy, easy. It's dark now, y'all. Uh -oh. Get some more water. Okay, it's dark, dark, dark. And what I am going to add to this is take that pork chop up. And then before we leave, I gotta call Marvin back in here so he can tell y'all back. If he wanted, he said he wanted to say something. I know what he got. He still wants to say it. All right, so I'm gonna use some of this bouillon flavor. Yeah, some more. Now the amount of this you use depends on the amount of water you use. Not a gravy maker, but I'm gonna use two tablespoons. Now, y'all, um, I, I got a video where I made some of this, and I, I was using a rice cooker, and the rice didn't cook. But anyway, about that video, y'all, when I um made that gravy and I left. I took the porch out when we were going. I had to go take my husband to the doctor for therapy or something. We had to go. And um, so I packed the pork chop up with me. Well, I put it on the plate. You know, I didn't pack it up. But so anyway, I remember we went by the gas station and I tasted my pork chop. I was riding it in. It was so good. I had, I put a piece, I had a piece of bread, but I didn't like the bread with it. So. That pork chop was so good. I was like, oh my goodness, this pork chop. And that's what I was like, this pork chop. So, and 
I was licking my fingers. I didn't care who was looking at me. Somebody probably saw me. I said she was like licking her fingers. They probably thought I was eating something from out of the gas station. But anyway, put some pepper in it. And I said, if anybody follow this recipe and cook this pork chop just like I cooked it, I did say I guarantee, but I can't guarantee. But I'm 99% sure you will like it. If you like some other pork chop. So, I'm going to put some garlic powder. But it should be good to go put a little bit of Mr. Mr. Martin seasoning in it. Jemiah probably could eat four. Let me get a piece. She probably eat four of these herself. She loves pork chop. And she told me she didn't want anything but pork chop. And then I was like, well, what about a vegetable? I took a vegetable because I know they don't like peas. But she was like, extreme these and she probably won't even eat them. I hope that she will. That is good. We are finished. Oh, I need a good picture. Let's see. For a thumbnail, I'm just gonna take a thumbnail. And I don't know that one doesn't be that cute. But anyway, let's we'll do a thumbnail. Ah, oh, take a picture of a plate when I fix it. Cause let me go fix y'all a plate. That looks good. Right, let me get a plate. We should like to smother the gravy down a little bit more, but we good. We are good. We are live. We are going to fix a plate. Let me get that. Get our plate fixed with the slide. Marvin! Yeah. I'm almost finished. Some flour, some powder, something got in my nose early, y'all. Mm. I think I'm going to have to sneeze again. Ooh, I had to sneeze. I'm almost finished! Did you want to come talk? Can y'all see that? Okay, I'm not, I'm almost finished. I'm putting, fixing a plate. Okay. 
well, some of my videos do, or well, some of my pictures do, like I don't have enough gravy on it. I'm put a lot of gravy on it. A lot of gravy. And i need a slotted spoon, but it's okay. We are good to go. Looks delicious, doesn't it? I know it tastes really well. Mm -hmm. Get out of here. Mm -hmm. Uh, I saw my video where I had a piece of chicken in the box. I don't know if y'all can see it, but here we go. Voila. <laughs> Looks delicious. Let me put some parsley on it. Wait, let me take a picture. I'll be wrapping it. Oh, you heard me? I had to get my phone so I have to take a picture of this plate. It looks so good to me. Take a picture, y'all. Before parsley. Oops. Yeah, wait, babe. Okay. I'm almost finished. Okay. I started pouring parsley on the side. Anyway, so Marvin wants to find me talking. Wait a minute, here. Mm, that looks so good. So let's see, put the parsley on. Can y'all see that though? Yeah. Oops. So comment down below. He think it looks better, better with or without parsley. I'm gonna take a picture with parsley. People love par my family don't like parsley. Um, well, you know, my husband and I, we we don't care, but the girls and Marvin, they don't like the green stuff. Okay, my baby. Come on, baby. What you want to say? Watch his drive. Watch his drive and hit the bell notification. He said, "Like and subscribe and hit the bell for notification." Thank you, Marvin. And comment down below your wife, mommy said you don't you cook it, then you don't want to cook it, then that's alright. <laughs> then you want to cook it, then cook it. Yeah. Then do. Do it all day on Mommy's channel. Thank you, Marvin. That's it, guys. Thank you so much for joining me in 47 minutes. Have and, a, and have a great day. Have a blessed and beautiful day. Don't forget to spread love all around. Until the next time, God bless you. And like Marvin said, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you make this, let me know. And if there's anything that you like to see me cook, let me know.
Love you guys. Bye. Are you ready to eat? I don't know. I don't know. You're not ready to eat? I'm not saying it. Hey, Lady AK, I'm leaving. Oh, my goodness. Oh, thank you. I am actually ending. We're finished. But thank you so much for joining us. Let me show you a show you picture of it. Voila. But thank you for joining me today. I'll see you the next time. <laughs> Bye. Yeah, you missed it. It was a spare the moment thing. Well, we'll see you next time. Bye.